Good morning, folks. India has now joined the United States, Britain, France, China, Russia, and Israel as a true missile power. Iran is pushing a thin red line on U.S. battleships, friggin' warmongering. They also found a bunch more oil, so they aren't exactly sweating the sanctions. Also, folks, it's a shame, but war is endemic and the fighting is spreading. The Popocatapetl volcano is dusting local towns and is on watch for a large eruption along with the Nevado del Ruiz volcano in Colombia. In Tennessee, a radioactive device was found in a dumpster. You may remember that in Australia, some radioactive waste had sickened some workers. Now they say they can't find the source. I'll keep watching that for updates. The yearly sandstorm swept through Egypt and surrounding areas in the last 48 hours. Back to Iran, she was shaken a bit yesterday and the same is true for western China. Yesterday the solar wind became active but it is now going back down to ambient levels. You can see the particle bombardment is decreasing here on the Ovation Prime. We had multiple sea flares that sent waves of ionization through the atmosphere yesterday. Now, as you can see, the SDO images from yesterday got choppy as the spacecraft did a little maneuver. But look closely and watch this go from quiet to active. This is where the sea flares were and there was a significant CME release towards Earth off to the left here on Stereo A. You can see NASA's predicting an impact on Earth if you look to the far right. The best way to tell is to look for the splash effect of the CME and see if it touches the yellow dot. Having a look at that active region down here, it is somewhat complex. NOAA has labeled this as two separate spots. They are dangerous along with this developing region up north here. Uh, the magnetic complexity is holding steady up here for now. This big region down here is pretty boring. I don't even need to zoom in and you can see that the red and yellow are separate from the blue and green, separate polarities. That's a good thing as the Earth footprint is right on top of it. Now since we have space weather on the way in the form of those CMEs, let's officially elevate the quake watch set for this weekend as the new moon is going to conjoin the sun the 21st as Mercury and Uranus join to the right. Also the moon will be moving to conjoin Jupiter the next day on the 22nd. The solar watch is moderate right now. The quake watch peaks this weekend. Be safe, everyone.